Hello, wonderful friends. Welcome back to another vinyasa practice. If I haven't met you before, it's lovely to meet you. My name is Sarah. Today's class is going to be a little taster of our peak pose, our Mayurasana. This is part of our August Animals challenge so if you're curious about any other animals that we play with along the way keep a lookout for the videos we post in august our mayurasana is our peacock pose don't uh it's e easy to get this mixed up with our pincher mayurasana which is our feather peacock pose which we did a video of about a month ago that's our forearm stand this is quite an intense um, arm balance it requires a lot of strength in the forearms the wrists the biceps and triceps, as well as the posterior chain, the glutes, a bit of that hamstring, the mid, lower and upper back. And it's actually a pose that I have not been able to <laughs> complete. And I think that's really important that we keep trying things that, uh, you know, we may not be able to do. I think it's very easy to put those in a box and be like, nah, I'm not going to touch those until I'm confident I can make it on the first go. It's like, no, actually, we need to take little steps to get up there. And that just means falling over and, um, you know, being not great at something until you might have a turning point and it clicks. So, yeah, this and I should just say before we start our practice that if you have any issues at all with your wrists, your forearms, elbows, this is probably not going to be a good practice for you. And also if you're pregnant as well, because we will be putting pressure on our abdom abdominal wall. So, yeah, I would recommend a different class. But yeah, let's get started in a kneeling position. Close down the eyes. And this is going to be a short class, so there is no expectation to, um, to complete this asana. It's, it's just having fun and seeing what it looks like, what it feels like in our body today. Start to connect with the breath. And when you feel ready, can you lengthen the breaths? So making them a little bit longer, a little bit deeper and slower. Noticing where we may be holding tension in our body. Maybe tension in the mind. And then with one long intentional exhale, can we let that go? Coming to the present and maybe setting an attitude and a perspective of curiosity, of play, of just noticing and becoming aware of any thoughts that appear during this practice. I think it's very easy for us when we enter into poses that we may <laughs> not be very good at for us to be like, this is so hard, I'm never going to get this. And so once we become aware of those thoughts, I know I certainly think those thoughts sometimes just notice and then that gives us the platform, the space to be able to create change and flip perspectives. Let's take about three more deep breaths here. And then we will start to move. Last big breath in. Exhale, letting go. Crack open the eyelids. Let's find our way onto our hands and our knees. Tabletop position. Spread the fingertips wide. Press the knuckles down. Press the fingertips down. Let's take some circles on the wrists. So just like I said before, this asana requires a lot of strength of the upper body, the triceps, biceps, forearms, it also, um, we have a different position of the wrist, which we're going to enter in now. 
if it feels comfortable already, try flip one of the hands around and just lean forward and back slightly. So it's this flipping around of the palm, which we're going to see in our Maya Rasana. And this is a very intense shape <laughs> to be in. And so again, just monitor how you feel as we go along. If you feel any sharp pinching pain, then that is an indication that this is a little bit too far. Okay, maybe you add the other arm in, maybe you swap the other hand around and press the back of the palm down. Just taking a couple of breaths to shift forward and back. And then if it feels good, you can add both of the fingertips back. Maybe it might be a bit of a smaller shift to begin with. Also, if you feel quite strong sensation, you can bring the fingertips more on like a 45 degree angle. That's going to relieve a little bit of pressure while still kind of rotating the elbows and the wrists. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, just bring the knees together, tuck onto the toes, sink yourself back so you're sitting up onto your heels. Any point if this becomes a little bit too much for the toes, then feel free to let it go. Bring the backs of the wrists together. Oh, that feels so good. Bring the hands into fists and just roll out the wrists. So we're doing a lot of warming up through the hands through the upper body and just reminding ourselves that um yeah we we are mindful of our body we are mindful of our breath here let's bring the elbows towards each other at the top now you can press the palms together this is already a very kind of um inward shape it might be quite intense for the shoulders if you want a little bit more see if you can flex the fingers back try to take a breath in draw the ribs in slightly as you exhale, can you try twist the elbows as far as you can towards the right? Inhale, come through center. Keep the elbows lifted. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale through center. This time, lift the arms up. Exhale, curl in. Try tap the elbows towards the thighs while trying to keep the elbows together. Inhale, come up again. Long breath in. Exhale. It's very hard to keep the uh, fingertips back. Inhale, come through center. Whew. Release, shake out the shoulders, shake out the wrists. I'm going to come into a plank position. Bring the hands down. Maybe you stay on the knees here, or if you're feeling pretty ready, tuck onto the toes, lift the knees up. Find a strong engagement through the core, lifting the belly button up towards the spine, protracting the shoulder blades away from each other, so puffing up through the upper back. Okay, you can stay here, or as lightly as you can, try tap the right foot to the outside of the mat. And then bring it back in, tap it down, breathe in. Exhale, tap it out. Inhale, tap it in. Last time, exhale, tap it out. Inhale, tap it in. Right toes come down. Left foot. Exhale, tap the left foot out. As light as you can. Inhale, tap it in. You can do this with the right knee down. Exhale, tap. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, tap. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, tap. Okay, let's try the arms. I would recommend taking the feet a little bit wider here. Come up onto the right fingertips. Transition the weight into the left hand. Breathe in. Exhale, tap it out. Inhale, tap it in. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Exhale, tap. Inhale as lightly as you can. Tap one more time. Exhale. Ooh, inhale. Okay, other side. Inhale through center. Come up onto fingertips. Press away from the right hand. Exhale, left hand. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, well done. Take a long step forward with the hands, step back with the feet, hollowing out our plank. So you're almost touching the forward and back of mat, depending on how tall you are here. Keep drawing the belly button in, tuck the tailbone under, take a big breath in. Hands to shoulder width distance. Exhale, try tap the elbows towards the ground. Forearm plank. Breathe in here. 
exhale, maybe lift one elbow at a time, find your way back up, inhale. Exhale, maybe one elbow touches down, maybe two elbows touch down at the same time, inhale. Exhale, maybe the elbow, other elbow lifts first. Last time, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Stay here for one more breath. Breathe in, lift out of the ground. Exhale, lower the knees down if they aren't already. Sphinx pose. Wow. How spicy. <laughs> We'll just stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale to try lift tall through the spine. Exhale, imagine the elbows are trying to draw back towards the ribs. Shoulders reach down the spine, squeeze the glutes. Last breath. Okay, you have an option to stay on your elbows if you wanted a little bit more support. If you are feeling pretty good, bring the hands by the ribs. Breathe in, baby Bhujangasana, but try to lift the hands off the ground. Flex your right foot here. Breathe in. As you exhale, as slow as you can, curl the right foot towards the glutes. Inhale to extend out. We keep the upper body off the ground. Exhale. Draw the shoulders back. Inhale. Imagine like you're moving through like peanut butter or thick jam molasses or something like that. Inhale, last time, squeeze the glutes, use the back body to engage and lift. Can you lift up a little bit higher? Exhale. Ooh. <sighs> Just take a breath on the ground. Hands come by the ribs, either on the knees or your toes. We're gonna press up into a high plank. Strong core. Inhale, shift the weight forward slightly. Exhale, Chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower half, elbows tuck in. Inhale, press, two more times. <laughs> Knees or toes, exhale. Inhale, engage the belly, last time. In, exhale. Inhale, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Because this is a shorter class, we're just moving with a bit more pace. Start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Uttanasana, forward fold, tuck the chin in. See if you can clasp opposite hands around the outsides of the feet so that you're standing on the fingertips. Okay. If your hands don't meet the ground, maybe you just touch around the opposite shins. Breathe in, maybe you lift and lengthen a bit. As you exhale, can you pull away from your feet? Tuck the chin in a bit, so we're rounding through the upper back as much as we can. Maybe even try a little shift from side to side. Notice which arm is crossing in front, because we will do this again. Breathe in. Exhale, release the hands from behind the feet. Slow roll up to standing. We're going to give our arms a little bit of a break <laughs> and bring some focus back into the lower body. Inhale, shift the weight into the left foot, lift the right knee high. Exhale, kick yourself back. Veda Bhadrasana. Three hands can, can either be by the sides or you can reach them forward. Option here to maybe roll out the wrists. Draw the right hip down. Flex the back foot, take a big breath in. As you exhale, same leg curl, trying to pull the right foot close towards the glutes. Inhale, slow, extend two more times. Exhale. Inhale, draw the shoulders back. Last time, really slow, pull it in. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, lift the right knee high. Stand tall, exhale, Uttanasana. Breathe in, lift the arms, Urdhva Hasasana. Find a long spine, exhale, soften the knees, fold yourself forward, tuck the chin in. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the belly button and shoulders down. Exhale, walk yourself back out long, finding your hollow plank again. So again, hands about shoulder width distance, spread the fingertips wide, shoulders roll down the spine. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the elbows. Inhale at the bottom, draw the belly button in. Exhale, as much as we can, we try press out of the hands at the same time. Inhale. Exhale, slow, lower. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. 
Maybe you shift the weight forward slightly. Lower the knees down, lower the hips down. Sphinx pose. Breathe in, find length. Exhale, draw the shoulders back. Feeling the extension through the spine. Still quite active through the back body to open through the front. Lay yourself down. Hands come by the ribs. Again, you can stay in your sphinx pose or inhale, lift up. Maybe Bhujangasana, flex the left foot. Exhale, pull it in. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, pull it in. Shoulders down. Can you lift a little bit higher? Inhale. Remember, we're moving through some sticky substance here. Maybe butter. Maybe peanut butter. You know that's pretty thick. <laughs> Let's try one more, feeling the engagement through the back of the hamstrings. Keep flexing the left foot, the glutes, and then lower yourself down. Hands by the ribs, press up high plank, using your strong core. Inhale, shift the weight forward slightly, four times. Exhale, shataranga, come halfway. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower half. Inhale, press. Exhale. You can lower the knees down if you need. Inhale. Last time. Exhale. Inhale. Ooh, downward facing dog. Ah. Walk yourself back. Uttanasana. Remember which elbow crossed on the front this time. Can the other elbow cross on the front? Maybe bring the hands underneath the outsides of the feet or around the shins, the thighs, whatever it meets. Breathe in. As you exhale, can you lift the back of the heart towards the sky? Pull on your hands. Opening through the upper shoulders. Maybe you take a little uh, shift from side to side. It's going to be easier to turn in the opposite direction of your front hand. Whatever front hand is out in front. Release the hands, breathe in, roll through the spine. Exhale. Tadasana. Okay, a bit of a drasana time. Shift the weight into the right foot, breathe in, lift the left knee. Exhale, keep the hips where they are, hinge forward, press the left heel away. Veda Bhadrasana. Again, you can extend the hands back or forward, whatever feels good. Inhale, flex the left foot. Exhale, slowly pull it towards the glute. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Last time. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, place it down to dasana. Inhale, sweep the hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. This time, just walk the hands down. We're going to meet in our Vajrasana. Okay, this is where we get to have a little bit of play. Maybe roll out the wrists here. Oh, I'm interested to see how my body is going to feel in this. Because again, this is something that I'm not very masterful with. It looks, <laughs> it doesn't look fancy or anything. Okay, we're going to start with bringing the hands quite close towards each other. You want to less than a fist distance in between them. Spread the fingertips wide. So the fingertips are going to become our hand breaks here. And basically what we're going to do is that the elbows are going to come down the center line of our body. And if you've got kind of a bigger bust like me, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So you have to kind of take the elbows around and then down. You want to think about lifting up through the belly button and ideally we're trying to get the elbows as far down towards the pelvis the belly button as much as we can we're going to start with our knees um, kind of hip width distance a little bit wider and just lean yourself forward it's a bit of a tricky pose to get into it's a bit easier if you don't have breasts i must say a little bit less awkward so drawing the elbows in, and then if you find yourself in this position, you might just stay forward. Maybe the chin touches towards the ground, lift the heels towards the glutes. So you're kind of with the knees apart. And then if you wanted to try, you could try shift the weight forward, lifting the knees off the ground for a second. 
So squeezing the glutes. It's a bit of an awkward one to get out of as well. And if you wanted to try full expression, legs go out long. Okay, we'll try that just one more time again. This is just a little taster. If you wanted a longer video on this, a little bit more in depth, then let me know. Maybe that's something that we can put on Patreon where we kind of put all of our longer flows on. <laughs> is it an interesting one to play with? Again, make sure you roll out the wrists. <laughs> so the closer the elbows are and the less likely you're gonna <laughs> break through the elbows and fall through yeah and it's the shift of the weight forward over the hands which is going to keep you balanced and because the knees are in a little bit closer it makes the kind of the um the balance a little bit more compact whereas when you've got the legs out Oh, that is, that is challenging. Okay, we're gonna head on to our backs just for the final couple minutes of our class. Maybe roll down the spine, feel free to find like a happy baby or just uh, pull the knees into the chest for the final moments. Dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. Reflect on, maybe you use this time to reflect on the practice, reflect on the awareness of thoughts and kind of how you found that. When you're ready, just find a moment of stillness, closing down the eyes. Letting any tension melt away from the body. Letting ourselves find a moment of stillness before we head out into the rest of our day. I would highly encourage you if you had time to stay here or especially if you wanted to have a little bit more time to kind of wind down then yeah please feel free to stay here I encourage it if you are wanting to head out with me maybe just draw the knees towards the chest grabbing the backs of the legs rolling yourself up Closing down the eyes, finish, finishing our class with a moment of stillness. I thank you so much for practicing with me. Again, I think it's so important that we practice new skills and ways of way of moving our body, even if we feel like we're not quite ready for it i think there are definitely ways that we can make things accessible and once we break down those barriers and keep practicing then that gives a little bit more space for us to change our perspective change our thoughts take a big breath in fill up 
exhale, bow your head in gratitude of this practice of yoga. I thank you so much for practicing with me. Let me know how you found it in the comments below. If you liked it, share it with a friend. And if you wanted to see this in a longer video, let me know. And yeah, maybe we put it on Patreon. Mwah. Much love to you. Namaste.